Hi, this is Michael at My Life in Plastic, and I just got Barbie the World Tour delivered from Amazon. So I thought I would do a quick little flip through. Now the cover, it's it, it, ha it has a transparent cover that has you know the words on it, and the picture is on printed on the actual cover, and then the end pages are this simple pink color. And I just thought I would do a very quick with special thanks. A forward by Edward Ennefel. Conversation with Margot Robbie. I have to say it's wonderful to have a souvenir like this for the fashions from the promotional tour and to get to see what she didn't get to wear once you know the strike stopped all of the appearances so you have the classic black and white swimsuit which she wore in the movie of course and the ponytail with bangs Day to night Barbie is one of the fashions that she wore flawlessly. I love that phone. And I think this must be some of Kitty Black Perkins' original sketches and the Versace version. I guess this is Moschino. So they seem to have broken it up by geography for each location where they had an event. Totally here. Balmain. Or Balmain, depending on how stringent you are with the pronunciation. This is the LA event with Scaparelli and the original solo in the spotlight. Miss Cherry Pie Picnic. Oh, that's cute. It's like a mini dress version. This is Valentino. And then in London, I guess they're referencing the vintage red swimsuit as well as Enchanted Evening by Vivian Westwood. I wonder who got to keep all the, I really hope Margot got to keep them in her personal collection. Because if you had to choose between an Oscar and all of this wardrobe, I think I would take the wardrobe. Berlin, Givenchy's version of Gay Prisien. Gorgeous pictures. That's the busy bus. Ooh, here we have Superstar. New York, Carolina Herrera for, I guess it was called Movie Date, the Silk Stone version. There's Bottega Veneta, Cherry Pie Picnic, Willows, Wisconsin, Versace, Roman Holiday by Gautier. Ooh, what's she wearing in Tokyo then? Miu Miu's version of Evening Splendor. I do hope that's faux fur though. We'll see.
And then Black Magic by Prada. Flawless. And then a little Chanel. And then an afterword by director Greta Gerwig. And there you go.